Cohere has launched ReRank 4, its most advanced enterprise re-ranking model yet, delivering state-of-the-art retrieval accuracy across domains with a 32K context window, faster latency, self-learning capabilities, and support for 100 plus languages, designed to dramatically improve RAG pipelines, agentic AI workflows, and large-scale enterprise search across cloud, VPC, and on-prem deployments. India has climbed to number three globally in AI in Sanford Human-Centered Artificial Intelligence, which stands for HAI's 2025 Global AI Vibrancy Tool, up from number seven in 2023. This is driven by world-leading AI talent and developer activity, even as gaps in compute frontier research depth and capital are pushing the government to accelerate the India AI mission, sovereign foundation models like Bharat Gen and Sarvam, and a broader semiconductor HPC quantum build-out to convert talent into durable national capability. The Union Cabinet has approved the Atomic Energy Bill 2025, Shanti, opening India's civil nuclear sector to regulated private participation to scale capacity from 8.8 .8 gigawatts to 100 gigawatts by 2047. Deploy indigenous SMRs, modernize safety and liability norms, and of course, secure clean base load power for AI, semiconductors and industrial growth. And finally, the Indian Army is placing over 5,000 crore rupees in orders for fully indigenous drones proven under Operation Sindur conditions to operate in heavy jamming and spoofing environments, covering kamikaze strike, long-range precision attack, and ISR roles with Chinese origin components explicitly barred.